11 and 1 Mountain View taking the trip over to number 2 and undefeated Stonebridge. The Wildcats were pre-gaming as if they may be about that action, bruh. But it wouldn't take long for Mickey Thompson's crew to remind them, this ain't what you want, player. This ain't what you want. After forcing a turnover, first Stonebridge possession, Eli Mason running a little Wildcat punches it in from inside the three. And the proverbial beatdown was on. Just like that. 6 nothing Bulldogs. First play of the second quarter, beautiful misdirection. Mason to Jacob Thomas, who finds Zeke Wimbush. And Zeke is handing out stiff arms for Thanksgiving. Two-point conversion by Mason made the score 14 to nothing. The Bulldogs O might not be nothing to be trifled with, but their D is equally dangerous. Bad snap sends the ball into the end zone. Instant pressure leads to a safety, and it's 16 to nothing. That's the lead that the bridge would take into the half. Following another Mason touchdown run, Zach Lang makes a beautiful adjustment on the ball. That young man has a bright future on and off the football field. His pick would lead to more Jacob Thomas magic as the lefty gets it to Colin Hart. And if you can't stop Colin Hart, you can only hope to contain him. Hart takes this one to the house, making it 30 nothing Stonebridge. Thomas and Hart would connect one more time, pushing the separation and final score to 37 to nothing. Next up for the Bulldogs, they have a rematch with Highland Springs, the squad that they played the instant classic of a state championship game with during the spring. Brought him there over and over. Quad run was counting on it, and they hemmed Bryce Duke in all day long. That was Tusky's third drive, and a very poor punt gives a short field over to Griffiths and company. He's swinging it out to Arnoff Thornhill right away, and Arnoff glides his way for 16 yards just outside that Husky red zone. Arnoff again, the other way. He's moving it down inside the five-yard line. First and goal at the three, and you know what comes next, don't you? That's right, a little Brett Griffiths for your trouble. 21 zip, broad run. Husky stiffened up on that first drive, trying to come back and impose their will with their defense. But late third quarter, Alex Estes pounding his way through the Tuscarora defense. Tees it up one more time inside the 10 yard line. And number 10, Brett Griffiths, is gonna call his own number and jump in that end zone. It was 28 nothing. And then on the next kick, the 20 mile an hour winds gave trouble for the Huskies on a fair catch. They give it back again to Sparta inside their own territory. Griffiths would have another one yard plunge and the Spartans go on to win it 35 to nothing. There were a couple of plays that didn't go Tuscarora's way today. Two fumbles that were out before the whistle blew that they came up with. One resulted in the first touchdown of the game on the following play. The second while they were trying to force their will defensively on that opening drive in the second half and turn this thing around. I love the way they responded. These kids reflected Brandon Wheelbarger's character. They didn't worry about what they couldn't control, and the reality is these refs do not have the luxury of instant replay to correct things and get it perfectly. This was Broad Run's day, and they move on, win the region championship that has eluded them for a long, long time. Again, the final 35-0 over Tuscarora.